This bubble tutorial video is for anyone who isn't a Regex wizard and has been struggling to find a way to extract data from a large portion of text. In this case, imagine, we're imagining that uh, we've passed in an email and all of the email's um, metadata and content has just come through um, in a single text field. Um, so how do we go about extracting it? Well, this is a little technique that I've developed um, when I was faced with a similar problem to this uh, a few weeks ago. So I can refer to my multi-line, uh, so I'm just using multi-line um, text input here so that we can see the data, but you could use this if the data was coming in through an API. So if I uh, do that and then click preview, you'll see that everything is carried across. But I can use the split by to target specific parts in the um, in the data, in our large text data. So I can say uh, from, and then I can put space in. And so that's gonna split the text around from uh, colon space. And so the first bit of data is gonna be blank, uh, but the second bit of data is gonna be everything from that point onwards. Uh, so I can go item two. Uh, but that leaves, okay, let's prove it. Let's just test everything's working. Okay, that's gonna provide me with the rest of the text expression. I can then do split by again. And this time I can uh, do space and I can do the arrow. Basically what I'm looking for is something that isn't gonna change. So that's gonna be fixed in every um, time this piece of text comes through. So from is gonna be a label that is gonna be fixed every time. And also the formatting of the email address is gonna be fixed every time. So if I want to extract the name of the sender, I can uh, do this, which is to have the space, have the arrow, and then this time it's splitting the message at this point. And so everything before is part one, and then everything after, or at least until we get to another um, triangle bracket, is one, two, three in our list. So I can just do first item. And there you go. You see it has reliably extracted the business name or the, the sender name uh, from the from field. Let's do another example. Let's say I want to extract the uh, order number. So again, I look for structure that's going to be consistent. So I can do split by, um, so refer to the multi-line text input and split by. Okay, and so I can be fairly confident that uh, the hypothetical scenario here is that I want to take details from an order email that's been passed into my bubble app. Um, and uh, I can assume that the order email subject line is unlikely to change um, apart from wait, but the beginning bit, apart from the number, and that's the bit I want to extract. So I can go, um, I mean, if I wanted to really be detailed, I'm kind of thinking of are there possibly any scenarios where what I'm splitting by is going to appear elsewhere? But by making the, the split by text separator larger, I kind of narrow down the chance that um, it's gonna not work. So I can go order ID, and I can even do that space and the hash. Uh, and then in this instance, I can just go item two, uh, and there's nothing left at all. Uh, let's hit preview. Okay, so order number is what I've entered in, uh, and it extracts the order number reliably. Let's make it a little bit more interesting as a final example. Let's put a space in and then we can say, um, put in a piece of text. Okay, so how now would I extract the order number? Because if I go into preview, uh, it's going to do everything after this. And so that's why I end up with the two lines. Well, you can split by a new line. So I'm still gonna target item two because that's everything after my, my uh, split by text separator. Um, and then I can split by again. And this time uh, I can split by, I can do two line spaces. Uh, oh, and I, I need to choose the first item. So I'm saying when you find two line spaces, as we've got here, go with the first item. So that's everything before the two line spaces. And there we have it. 
So there is just a couple of, of techniques that I found to uh, allow you to extract data from uh, a larger volume of text um, and uh, take out exactly what you need. As long as you've got those fairly, cons well, they need to be 100% consistent. Um, labels or basically locations in the, in the text volume that you're working with in order to be able to target reliably what you're trying to extract.